Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Azam, and in this video we'll be learning about how we can create a snowfall kind of effect in Swift UI application. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to create a snow-like effect, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a snow view, which will be a UI view representable. And the reason that we are doing that is that we will eventually want to use the CA emitter layer, which is part or which can be used with our UI view. So that's why we are extending UI view representable. So a UI view can be used in our Surfio application. Now, all of this can be created in a separate file, but uh, I want to create it over here just to keep to it one file. That's fine. If you are looking at UI view representable, you need to implement two different functions. One of them is make uh, UI view, and the other one is update UI view. For this case, update UI view, we're not going to do anything. We're all going to implement make UI view. The make UI view needs to return a UI view. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the screen size. And based on the screen size, I'm going to construct a view. And you can call this view anything that you want. There we go. We're going to set the mask to bounce to true so that the clippings will uh, take place. So you can see that if I go ahead and say over here dot mask to bounce, a Boolean value indicates whether the sublayers are clipped to the layer bounds. So the sublayers that we're going to add, they will be clipped to the bounds, meaning the size of the view. Okay, in the end, we are going to return the view itself. Now, this view is not really going to do much. It's just going to be located at the 0, 0, and it will have a size of the screen, the size, screen size, or width and height. What we need to do is we need to create something called a CA emitter layer. And the CA emitter layer is the one that's going to allow us to utilize the effects. So we're going to go ahead and create the emitter layer. It's going to call it emitter layer. We are also going to set the frame for the emitter layer, which it can actually use the same exact frame for the view. So there we go. Next, we are going to say that what will be the shape of the emitter using the emitter shape. And we're going to say the emitter shape will be circle. And next, the most important, one of the most important things is the emitter position. So one of, I'm going to go ahead and say emitter position over here. And for starting out the position, we're just going to say CG point dot zero. And you will see that eventually we're going to change that. But just start, starting out, that's perfectly fine. Next, we need to talk about emitter layer. So let's go ahead and say emitter layer dot emitter node. Where would it emit the particles? So particles are emitted from the surface. Now particles can also emit from a point. Particles can also emit from the outline, from the points, from the volume, and all that stuff. So from the surface of it. All right. Next, we're going to say emitter layer dot render mode. And we're going to set the render mode a different kind of render mode, all this to last, all this to first, uh, in which which articles are uh, rendered first, or all this will be rendered mode. All right. So if you look at this, or if you want to see the documentation, all this last part, particles are rendered, all this last, this mode uses source over compositing. All right. So basically, this is saying that particles are rendered the old particles will be rendered last that's it next we are going to create emitter cell the emitter cell is a thing the actual thing that we are trying to render now comes the birth rate meaning how fast you want these things to be created next the lifetime i mean how quickly or how they will die and uh, you can change these properties, the velocity of it. You can also say the scale of it, very important. You don't want it to be too big or something. So we're going to just say 0 0.1. And now the range, like where is it get, getting emitted? What will be the range of these things? All right. So we're just going to say cgfloat.py, which is 
180 degrees. All right. Next thing we need is the actual image. What do you want to display? So I can go ahead and get an image. I already downloaded an image. I'm just going to copy it right there. Probably call it something else. This particular image, the snowflake image, has a transparent background. So that's pretty good because we will be needing that. And that's one of the important things that we're going to set, which will be the contents of the image. We still haven't really assigned the emitter layer with the cells that we are creating. So I'm just going to say emitter cells is an array, and we're going to put the cell right there. And finally, we are going to say the main layer dot add the sub layer, and now we're going to pass in the emitter layer. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we want to display this, let's go ahead and simply call snow view, the view that we just created. We added the snow view. I think everything looks good. Let's go ahead and press the play button. Make sure that you press the play button or else you're not going to see it animating. And there we go. This is how it looks like. A couple of things to note over here. First of all, the background is by default white. So we should be able to change the background. All right. The apart from that, so let's go ahead and see if we can actually change the background right here by saying color dot black. And there we go. So now it's black. It's taking up pretty much the whole screen anyways. The other thing to note over here is that the actual origin of the particles is from this point right there. Because we said 0, 0, which is somewhere over here. So we can go ahead and change that and provide some sort of an actual point. So let's go ahead and provide some sort of a point over here. If you want it to be emitted from the middle, so I'm just going to say width divided by 2. And for y, I'm just going to pass in 0. So let's see that the x is moving. You can see definitely x is moving. If you even want to hide that, you can just go ahead and put it somewhere else. Uh, so it's going to go off the screen. And now it's kind of like an actual snowing. All right. So you can see that using the CA emitter layer and CA emitter cell, and by using UI view representable, we were able to create a brand new view, which is responsible for showing us a snow falling animation. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. All the links to the course is right there in the YouTube description. You can see I have courses on Swift UI, I have courses on Swift, uh, recipe courses, test driven development, Rx Swift, core data, best selling course on that, uh, and combine Rx Swift, you know, async in a way, data structure, everything that you want to learn. All right. So check out the links in the description and hope that you enjoy these courses.